This is a video about the lineation of EUS anatomy of the pancreatic biliary system with linear scope. Starting the examination from the gastroesophageal junction, we can image the aorta with the left crew of the diaphragm above. As we advance the scope and the diaphragm disappears, we can see the takeoff of the cilia trunk at the side of the aorta, with the superior mesenteric artery branching from below. Slightly pushing the scope and talking counterclockwise, we can see the celiac dividing into the left gastric artery, common hepatic artery and the splenic artery above the splenic vein. If we advance the scope farther and release the up-down wheel, the neck of the pancreas is coming into view. By talking counterclockwise on the right side of the screen, we can follow the splenic vein going down to the portal vein into the portal confluence. From this position, by talking back and forth, we can also see the superior mesenteric vein on the left side of the screen. From this position, we look for the PD by talking back and forth. By talking counterclockwise, we can follow it through the neck of the pancreas going down to the head of the pancreas. In the bottom of the screen, we can see the superior mesenteric artery running parallel and distally to the superior mesenteric vein. And if we talk clockwise a little bit, the body of the pancreas is coming into view. We can clearly see the PD that is followed to the tail by talking clockwise and slightly withdrawing the scope. On the left side of the screen, below the pancreas, the left kidney is the landmark of the passage between body and tail. Pushing the up-down wheel, the tail of the pancreas can be followed to the hilum of the spleen on the right side of the screen. To study the head of the pancreas from the bulb, we need to push the scope down into the stomach, passing through the pylorus and look endoscopically at the apex of the bulb. Here we can switch to the ultrasound imaging and look for the portal vein closer to the transducer. From the portal vein we can trace the bifurcation into the splenic vein going down on the bottom left side of the screen and into the superior mesenteric vein in the bottom right side of the screen. Talking clockwise, we can see the head of the pancreas and trace the CBD closer to the transducer and the PD more distal, going together down to the ampulla. To study the ancinate process, we advance the scope into the second portion of the duodenum and we draw slowly under endoscopic guidance until we see the major papilla. The up-down wheel is moved up and we gently torque clockwise and counterclockwise while slowly withdrawing the scope as needed to see the IBC close to the transducer and the right renal artery below as confirmed by the Doppler signal. If we gently talk clockwise, the aorta is coming into view with the pancreas adjacent on the right side of the screen. Gently pulling back the scope and talking clockwise and counterclockwise, we can fully interrogate the antenate process between the aorta and the mesenteric vessels until the organ disappears from one side to the other. If we keep on withdrawing the scope, the PD and CBD are coming into view with the common bile duct close to the transducer and the pancreatic duct below.